Hey, I'm Game of the God, and welcome to Diablo the Reaper of Souls. That's not entirely accurate, but nonetheless. So, with the new expansion here, the good old barbarian tactic, or rather build of Whirlwind, was somewhat ruined, or at least nerfed quite a bit. So, I start thinking, what can I do? Can I make another really good build? A really solid one of that. And I kinda did. I named it the Earthshaker build because of my choice. Avalanche, Earthshake, Seismic Slam and the ultimate of the Rage. I can't really remember the name but it will be revealed later in this video. So the point of the build is to make an enormous burst to just blow out any elite pack and so far it's worked. I haven't run into too many uh, of the champion packs that didn't have the extra health buff that actually survived my initial burst especially if I popped the ultimate and hit, hit all of the attacks and when I say hit all of the attacks it is very much meant so freaking it is important let me just stress it like that it is very important that we hit every single attack because this is pretty much a skill shot build all of the attacks have some kind of mechanic that requires the opponent to stand in a specific place or you to aim a specific place. All the way down to Seismic Slam, which hits in a big cone. Problem is, since you're melee, you have to be facing the correct way in order to actually hit them. If you aim only a few percentage off, you miss. And that is quite a lot of million damage I lose if I do so. Secondly, we have Avalanche, which is a bit harder to miss because it is a massive ring of damage. The issue with that is, it is damage over time. So if I want the full damage of that, I have to make the enemy stand still for so long that it actually works. Same thing goes for Earthquake, which is the ground AoE. It requires the enemy to stand still for 8 seconds for it to take its full effect. It is relatively hard to get the full combo off if it is a moving enemy anything with fast that isn't the normal I will hit you mob it will just try to run away and your combo will be ruined as a result however the thing you must learn with the build is to time it out correctly and use all the cooldowns to your best because a single miss can result in extreme amount of damage loss so keep this in mind if you're going to use the build but I will say that it is pretty damn powerful I have reached a total of hundred and ten million damage in burst and that is even with two arrows in my uh, how should I call it routine because it is fairly important that you keep up the stacks from bash if you want to do the full amount of damage and you actually have to start out by it which even in this clip I didn't that is just one of the many mistakes you can make in this. The build is based so much of skill. So keep that in mind if you're going to use the build and now I'll show you how I made the build and what it's made of. Alright, so what goes for the Earthshaker build broken into pieces? Well, let's start with the first bash. I chose this mainly because of the increased damage of all your skills. Because stacking that to 12% additional damage when you're already hit for about a million each hit then it becomes fairly important plus as I will show you just here I have some pants that increase that damage it is kinda on purpose that happens so anyways next one battle rage this is for two things the damage and the crit obviously but I did choose more crit over the damage the raw damage which really is up to how you feel about it. I took a look at the two specs and the difference in the damage I did was 5000 which when you have that DPS or well, that DPS isn't really that much. 431k is plus minus about 5-6k so really it didn't do too much however it does look more cool to have a lot of massive crits all over the place. First ability I chose Tectonic Rift because the Earthshaker build wouldn't be complete without it. Plus, it is ridiculously powerful. The ability it has in all it in itself 
with a thousand and six hundred percent weapon damage is just freaking massive. And just the fact that you have a rune that actually enables you to have three uses of it is just ridiculous because these uses can be be, be ridiculously buffed. And either it's more effective than, than I think, or there is a bug, which I will return to in a bit. Earthquake, obviously, for the 4,500% damage. Extremely freaking powerful, and I love that ability. However, as this build is in its entirety, it is extremely immobile, because it's pretty much, much all skill shots. If you miss just one of these, your damage will be reduced tremendously. But nonetheless, you don't lose all of it. As long as your Earthquake hits for its full range, or rather its full capacity, or full damage, whatever you want to choose, it still has a lot of punch. With the build I have now, I reached just about 110 million damage with just a burst. And that is with the ultimate activated. Which is pretty much a no-brainer. Becoming uh, invulnerable to all CC is amazing. And then at the same time, having 10 crit, 10% extra crit, the attack speed, and the 50% damage increase. It's insane when all your attacks do massive damage already. And for the third, and the spam attack you can actually do in a prolonged fight, is Seismic Slam. It is pretty neat, but it also has a secondary effect that you might not think of immediately. Because of the rune of Frost, you can actually slow down everyone, which incredibly incredibly so increases the chance that people will actually well I say people in the mobs will actually stay inside your attacks for the full duration. It isn't necessarily the case because you might want to change it up because of your weapons or just in general skills that says some kind of damage does extra damage. For example if I had something that said physical damage in general were buffed then I might be considering changing both Earthquake and Seismic Slam over to be purely weapon damage. Because that is always physical. So, that's just it. But, next. Bloodthirst is mainly for the healing. Per hit with sl Seismic Slam, which you're going to be spamming utterly in the first few seconds, the first 15 seconds in fact, will heal you so much that you almost can become invulnerable. I've tried standing in Arcane Laser, the the poison on the ground, the other poison on the ground, Desecrator and Molden at the same time, with my ultimate activated that is, and just decimate the elite pack I was against. And well, while it happens that I once in a while die, and well, it is a bit sad, but nonetheless, it doesn't really do that much of a... It doesn't really make an issue, to be honest, because all of your stuff is based on what you do in a fight. Or wait, for that matter. Actually, the best weapon you have is waiting, because everything is either a cooldown, or is something you generate, regenerate over time. Next, this is where the build actually complements itself, because this is, next step is extremely important. Gain 30 Fury when activating Avalanche or Earthquake. This is extremely important with the rune of Avalanche. Because having those three runes is... No, not three runes, the three charges. Enables you to have 90 Fury just from activating those three charges. And that is before increased generation. Which brings me to Cormac, which evidently is a bit overpowered for this, because he increases all Fury generated by 10%, if you choose that ability, that is which in this build is tremendous. And with that, I think I discovered a bug. So when you have your ulti activated, actually I tried this only once or twice, but nonetheless, it happens that somehow Avalanche gets either so much fury just dumped into it, or just the cooldown fucks up, something happened, then I was able to use Avalanche six times in a row and still have three charges, which ended up in, me, in total me using ten charges against one enemy. It died spontaneously. It was amazing, but nonetheless, it most likely is a bug, and the max charges I can get up to with a bit of... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say luck, but a bit of concentration where I use the build to its max, then it will reach about four or five charges. 
four is about standard because of the just absolute pounding I'm gonna be doing with Seismic Slam. Because just before the generation, once again, you have four hits by just using abilities and then your own fury on top of that. Which means roughly six hits. Yeah, because of Unforgiving. You generate fury instead of degenerating. This one is a bit of um, preference for me. You don't think you need it per se, but it does give you those three additional, four, three, four additional hits with Seismic Slam whenever you enter a fight if you entered with full rage, fury. So to me, it seems logical. Plus, truthfully, the only thing I can think of swapping it with is Weapon Master, which mm, could be good. I have the, a sword now. I originally made this built with a mace than an axe. And with the sword, I perhaps would recommend or at least suggest that swapping either the health region, if you already have a ton, which I wouldn't necessarily re recommend no matter what, but could be if you're really, 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 really thirsty for damage. But I could perhaps recommend changing Unforgiving for it, because it's not that not that important for the build. And then we have the Boon of Bulkathos. That is mainly just for the Earthquake, but also for the Ultimate. Having the Ultimate be on such short cooldown, you can't see it here, but with that and cooldown reduction on your gear too, you can have it up so damn often that you can just burn anything even though you already used your full burst potential. And it's just amazing. Now, my gear in total, I won't showcase all of it because blah blah blah. But I did find all of this from one little item that gave me the idea initially. Because if you read number two and four of the skill sets here, it is incredibly insane. And I thought, with the bonus this one had, with avalanche damage increased by 13% and its inherent earthquake freaking abilities, I thought. Could an Earthshaker build be made? And indeed, I was correct. But here's the last thing I want to show just before I leave. Now with all buffs and the current build, I will reach 30% crit chance and 207% damage done on crits. Additional damage. And that enables some insane crits. And it really is. I want to say the core of the build, because just the build in general deals a massive percentage damage. It, it is just insane. But with additional crit damage? Oh my god, it's amazing. Seeing crits up towards 5 million and above on every hit, or just the dots, which these it actually are. If you notice, they actually go on for quite a while. See? The same thing does this. This is 8 seconds. And it can crit. So, yeah, it is basically the best thing I have ever made so far, that is. But nonetheless, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time for another crazy build. Until then, see ya.